Hi, welcome to this short tutorial on Meglitinides from Ilo Pharmacology. So Meglitinides belongs to oral hypoglycemic agents. The examples are we have repaglinide and nataglinide. Meglitinide actions are similar to that of the sulfonylureas that means they are responsible for increasing the insulin release. They stimulate the insulin release from the beta cells of pancreatic islets thereby it lowers the blood glucose level. So the mechanism of action will be similar to that of the sulfonyl ureas where the meglitinides interact with sulfonyl urea receptor. They activate the potassium ATP channel in the cell membrane of beta cells and they are going to close the potassium channel followed by there is a depolarization of the cell membrane and it also activates the voltage dependent calcium channel which helps in the exocytosis of the insulin. The calcium entry is responsible for stimulating the exocytosis or release of the insulin from the pancreatic beta cells. So when we talk about the pharmacokinetic parameters of meglitinides, meglitinides are very quick in onset of action as well as it acts for short duration of time. So because of their quick onset of action, this can be used as a drug to reduce the postprandial hyperglycemia. So it has got an off-life of one hour. Its action can be reduced by drugs which can induce the hepatic uh, P450 enzymes uh, like carbamazepine. And nataglinide has got an off-life of 1.5 hours. So coming to the users, they are used in the treatment of type 2 diabetes mellitus. Since it has got the rapid onset of action, the rapid action allows for a good control of postprandial hyperglycemia. And usually they are used in combination with metformin or glitazones. Since they are metabolized uh, in the hepatic system or the liver, the magnetites are useful or preferred in patients who are having renal insufficiency. So those patients who are having renal ins insufficiency, metformin has to be administered very carefully. So adverse effect of magnetites, again the same thing will continue that all the drugs are having a risk of hypoglycemia uh, unless so though uh, uncommon unless its metabolism is inhibited by other drugs that is gemfibrosil. Otherwise you can remember that all the oral hypoglycemic agent as well as insulin will cause most common adverse effect that is the hypoglycemia and hypoglycemic episodes are very more in case of sulfonylureas and hypoglycemic episodes are very rare and it is a safer drug when we talk about the metformin. Thank you.